400 students, this is Mr. Gales and I'm bringing you screencast session number two for basic chemistry. Our topic here is compounds and molecules. Remember from screencast session number one, Mr. Workman primarily talked with you about matter. We looked at the building blocks of matter which are atoms and you learned a little bit about how we in interpret uh, information about atoms from the periodic table. Now when we talk about matter, obviously we're talking about everything that has mass and takes up space and all the things that are around us. Usually when we see matter, when we encounter matter in our world, we're really looking at atoms and different combinations of atoms. Um, it's important to know that sometimes atoms of elements can combine into things called molecules and or compounds. So that's really what we'll primarily be focused on in this screencast is what is a molecule, what's a compound, how are they similar, how are they different. The earth is one large mixture of molecules in their various phases, either gas with it or, or solid. And so the, the understanding the chemistry that influences life, really it's important for us to understand what molecules and or compounds are. All right, so first main idea, compounds. These are substances which contain two or more different types of elements that are chemically combined in a fixed ratio. So as an example over here, on the left-hand side, we have a water molecule. And this is a structural formula for a water molecule. Uh, you can see that water is H2O, that's its chemical formula, and its atoms are arranged this way. When I say that it's um, a compound, you can clearly tell it's got two different elements. It's got carbon, I'm sorry, it's got hydrogen and oxygen, and it's chemically combined in a fixed ratio. There are other uh, substances that may contain oxygen and hydrogen in them, but it's only water if it's in this particular ratio. In other words, there are two hydrogens for every one oxygen. Now, the, these things that you're seeing here, this partial negative charge and this partial positive charge and the red dots, which indicate the probability of finding an electron we'll be talking about in upcoming portions of our basic chemistry unit. The molecule or, or the compound over here on the right hand side, this is called ethanol. This is an example of a simple alcohol molecule. This is a compound because again it contains different types of elements and it's found in a chemically, uh, chemically combined in a fixed ratio. There are two hydrogen for every five hydrogen and one oxygen. When we study organic chemistry, we're going to learn that this OH group here, this is called a hydroxyl group, and that's a very important group in um, biological types of molecules and compounds. So key idea, compounds, different types of elements, chemically combined in a fixed ratio. Now molecules, um, a molecule is kind of the basic unit of a substance. We can kind of easily define a molecule as a substance which will contain two or more atoms. They're the most basic unit of a substance. We can't have a substance and subdivide it any further and still call it a molecule of that substance. Now, molecules can contain atoms of the same element, like we have here. This is chlorine gas, Cl2. Uh, this is a molecule because it, it, the only way we have chlorine gas is if there are two chlorine atoms stuck together. So in this case, it's the same element. Or we can have molecules which have different elements. In this case, we're looking at methane. The central atom is a carbon, and these outer atoms are hydrogens. These are both examples of molecules because they are the simplest units of these substances. This is the simplest unit of chlorine gas. This is the simplest unit of methane gas. Hopefully you never encounter uh, chlorine gas. Chlorine gas is a, a poisonous gas. It was used during World War I, during trench warfare. It was really one of the first examples of chemical weaponry ever used. I'm fairly certain that you've encountered methane molecules before. Uh, methane is what comes out of the gas jets at school, but it's also what comes out of you um, when you're gassy. So that's what methane is. One thing I would note here is um, this is a pretty simple molecule because it's just two of the same atoms. This is what's called a compound molecule because it contains carbon and hydrogen. Again, it, it's different atoms. So simple molecule, two of the same atoms, two or two or more of the same atoms. Compound molecule is a compound and a molecule. Okay, with the, all that being said, let's check your understanding here. What I want you to do is just pause the video for a moment and tell yourself what, you know, which of the following of these are simple molecules and which are what we would describe as compound molecules. So you can pause the video and uh, when you're ready, you can put the video back on and you'll see the, scre the answers on the screen. All right. Here's the answer. CO2 is a compound molecule because it contains different types of atoms. It's got carbon and oxygen. O2, simple molecule, only two atoms of the same uh, element. Same with hydrogen. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4, is a compound molecule. There's an extra compound in there for you. 
Uh, hydrochloric acid, HCl, also a compound molecule. Nitrogen, N2, this is a simple molecule because it's two of the same atom. And then finally, water. We have H2O, and that is also a compound molecule. All right, so that's it. I hope you understand now how we differentiate between compound molecules and simple molecules. Understand that compounds contain two or more different elements in a chemically combined, you know, fixed ratio. Molecules really are sort of the simplest unit of a substance. Okay, so that's Screencast 2. Be seeing you in biology. This is Mr. Gale signing off.